by default software always show only the area but what if you wish to include the linear meter as well as you can see on the screen software show me the total area is 116 and the linear is 45 but it will not sum automatically what if you need to see the sum maybe for the shuttering or foam work i have highlighted another area and here software give me 129 it's the same area but this time it's 129 because software include the height it include the linear as well but how exactly i have done that this is what i'm going to show you now so for that purpose we have to create a template it's very simple template but you have to watch this video till end so you will be able to create such powerful template so without any delay let's get started so let's follow step by step click on a templates tab here you will find many templates you can create a new tab if you wish to but i already have one so create a new item called area give a name area and linear whatever you want click here advanced here software will show you a few options double click you can minimize this create a new item linear height keep it in a estimating tab you will see now why i'm doing it another one linear square meter keep it in estimating as well fine we have created these items and down there's one option linear total just double click on it and move this item from takeoff data to estimating press ok you will see now now it's part of estimating tab it's optional i just prefer to keep it beside where we have all the formula now we can move this up fine these were the important properties now i want software to multiply the height with the total linear you can just drag this linear total here multiply with the given height whatever the result comes here it should add with the total quantity fine now the total of this it should be in a square meter so we can choose the unit and the linear height it should be in a meter and software should ask us the linear height so i can check this so next time it will appear as well okay click here advanced we have set the formula you can click here on a form layout to adjust few things there is a linear height if you want to see the units just click here it will ask you next time units as well press ok check the form so that will be the view next time okay this formula is ready now press ok go to home tab on the right side you can find the specific tab this is what we have created earlier you can see the result was 116 but let's try to evaluate the created template so press this button give a name slab shuttering as an example only and the height press ok you will see now i just need to highlight once i'm done software shows the total result is 127 so that was a quick demo about plans of template i hope you really liked the video and learned something new and for your reference i'm sharing a plan Swift template playlist on the screen it will help you to learn more about the advanced template and customization and if you really like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and share your feedback thank you so much for watching see you in the next video